Hey YouTubers and RV fans, so today is RV maintenance day. I'm here in Niles, Michigan. And so we've been here for a little while. Mama Wags is uh, doing some work camping. And so uh, today I thought I'd take the opportunity to do some RV maintenance. Particularly, I'm gonna do maintenance on the slides. Okay, it's a little bit windy today, but um, we've gotta do some maintenance on the slide because the slide's been sitting out for, oh, I wanna say a couple of weeks. And uh, I did get maintenance when I was in um, uh, Florida, but it's time for maintenance again, especially sitting underneath all these trees. As you can see here, I'm sitting underneath all these trees here, and it's, uh, it, you, you can get all kinds of bugs and all kinds of stuff, and it's been so wet. There's been a lot of, uh, a lot of wetness here. So let's take a look at the slide underneath. Okay, as you can see here, these all actually look pretty good. I already cleaned them off, so I wiped them down and cleaned them off. And uh, I'm using I'm using this uh, 3-in-1 RV Care slide-out silicone lube. And uh, it lubricates and waterproofs, it's anti-corrosive, and it extends the slide-out life. So that's pretty good. So you gotta shake it up really good. Then we're gonna spray some on and then we're gonna start the RV up and move the slide in and out. So bear with me here for just a second. We're gonna go ahead and get some of this up there. All right, got that slide in there. And you can see I've got the teeth there. So I wanna get those teeth good. And if, according to the directions, all you have to do is just uh, spray it on. And it's quick drying, so of course I'm gonna get all muddy down here. Hang on just for a second, let me get you up here so you can see. All right. Let's spray this up in here. And then we're gonna get the other side here. All right, we're also gonna do the seals today. So I got another compound for the seals. And so we'll get that done. And then all these rubber coatings here, they tend to corrode real easy with all the sun. So we're gonna get some of that. Uh... Okay, we're gonna head inside because I need to get the keys. And I wanna show you around here a little bit so you can see. Um, I gotta move stuff around. So in order to move the slide and I got all kinds of stuff, I gotta move around. But uh, just to make sure that the lubricant's working. So we'll get all this stuff moved. We'll get the slide turned on. All right, we've got everything moved out of the slide path. So I can go ahead and uh, start the engine and get the slide moved in. Go ahead and move in the slide. Just need to make sure I got everything out of the way. Okay. I think we're good to go. All right, here we go. A lot of water on that roof. <laughs> a lot of water on my toppers. All right, let's move it back out. There we go. Okay. Okay, I think we're done with the slide. Mechanisms anyway. And now we can start moving forward with the seals apologize for the wind all right so i'm going to go ahead and lubricate uh these steps a little bit as well now, i've already done the under side mechanism so hopefully that'll take care of the steps okay so the next thing here is to go ahead and apply this dry lubricant on the um exterior 
rubbers here, rubber seals, and we want to clean those off. I'm going to have to get the ladder to do that, but I need to check up there anyway. So next I'll get the ladder. All right, so part of uh, maintenance on the RV is getting up there and sweeping the roof. Well, this old boy here ain't going to do it. So my neighbor, Bob, said, I'll get up there. So there's Bob up there sweeping the roof off for me, which is good. Your canopy over the slide out. Yes. It's been holding the water for quite a while. Yeah. It needs to be clean. Okay. And there's still water stuck in it and a lot of debris. Okay. So I'm going to sweep that debris out now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, he's up there getting that all taken care of so we've done the slide maintenance today we've done the rubber seal maintenance along the slide he says the cap looks good up there and yeah. so now we sweep it off the the topper yeah it's mud yeah it's that that's what i'm saying i think that topper needs to be tightened up a little bit because it likes to hold the water for sure well and there's been dirt yeah and debris in there yeah. And it is set, rolled up in it, so that's going to, in time, deteriorate your cap. Well, what I'll do is I'll get up there with the hose and some and a cleaner and clean that off. That's what it's going to need. Yeah. Some detergent, soapy. Yeah. Soak it. But that's what I'm saying about the big one. Yeah. Do the same thing. Yeah, I got to work that big canopy. Now it'll it'll naturally clean itself. Like the next time it rains, you should have it out. Yeah. Yeah. Clean it. Like mine's clean. I can see it. It's yeah. Clean. This is his RV over here. He's in the Wildcat. So he's got a nice RV here. So can't say Can't say thank you enough, Bob. No problem. Up there on that surge. Okay guys, I want to say thanks for joining me today as I did my RV maintenance. Um, today we were able to get the slide maintenance complete. Um, the slide was moved in and out. Um, the seals have all been um, cleaned up and uh, lubricated. The underneath has all been cleaned up and lubricated. I checked the oil on the um, generator and it's good. And uh, it's been a very productive day today. So I want to say thanks for joining me today. And if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. All right, guys, have a great day. Hi, Candace. Hi. Candice, you're from the RV Driving School. I am from the RV Driving School. I'm working out of this campground this today and tomorrow. Yay. Yeah. So how long have you been watching um, Patty Wagon Travel? Ah, since you were packing up in your house down in Florida and scaling down to move into the RV. It's been a couple of years. Well, we definitely have to spend time together and, and do some RV gacking.